Well, hello there and good morning, fifth graders. Today, it's Thursday, May 21st. Remember that I always ask you kindly to write the date on every page that you do. I need the date on every page that you do, especially for the kids that are way behind in the work. Please, I need you to write the date. Now, first things first, what's up? I hope you're doing fine, I hope you're doing great. I really wish that all your family is healthy and that today you're ready to work. Um, today's work is gonna be actually between easy and a bit complicated, maybe, maybe. Why? We're gonna be working with STEAM. STEAM, you're gonna be learning about uh, the seasons and the stars, okay? You're gonna be learning about the seasons and the stars. Then we're gonna be working with Think Tank. And that is a complicated part because we're gonna be working with a unit review, part of the unit review. So if you haven't done the Think Tank work, it's gonna be a bit complicated for you. If you are behind the days that you should be working, if you haven't worked the book properly, with the videos, it's gonna be a bit complicated for you. So um, I'll try to help you as much as I can. But remember, unit review, it's not for me to help you. It's for you to see if you understood everything that we have been working with, okay? Now, let me pass the list first to see who is here with us today. I hope that you, all of you are watching the video, but let's see. We have Sam, Santi, Romy, Regis, Daniela, Fernanda, Johnny, Oswaldo, Steffi, Hannah, Gael, Mingelita, Nata, Aileen, Rafa, Zoe, Cari, Sophie, Fiorella, Owen, Carlita, and Gerardo. Like I said, I hope all of you are watching the video. If not, that's too bad. But uh, yeah, I hope that all of you are ready to work today. Like I said, it's not gonna be that complicated. It's gonna be actually quite easy. You're gonna be wondering right now, teacher, are we going to have a daily routine? Yes. I don't know if you have already checked your algebra mail, but I sent a link uh, in the morning. That link is for a video. Why? I have noticed when I check my videos that when I play a video here during my own video that you're watching right now, uh, one, the video, it's really, really slow. It's like cutting, it's lagging. Two, the audio happens the same. It's cutting, you don't understand it properly, and it's not that strong enough. So I'm not gonna play the video in here because it's gonna be doing the same. I could do it, but it has no sense. It is going to look horrible. And also sometimes YouTube decides to be like, oh, you're doing copyright infringement. And I'm not doing actually copyright infringement because I mentioned in the video that I don't own the video. But uh, YouTube is like, oh, you're using someone else's video and that is not allowed. Okay, so we are not gonna do that. I'm going, I already sent the, the link to your algebraic mail. Check it, click on it, watch the video, and then come back. Okay, I'll wait for you, don't worry. See you in a bit. Pause the video, go to algebraic, click the video, watch it, and then come back. I'll see you in a moment. Well, come back. Welcome back. Okay. Uh, if you already watched the video, I hope that you enjoyed it. Maybe you have more questions about the universe, the stars, the seasons, why all this stuff. Don't worry. I'll try to answer all of them. If you send me a message so I can help you with it, or maybe we can talk about it in the live sessions that we have Monday and Wednesdays. Okay. Just make sure to write down your questions and I'll answer them as long as I know the answer. Remember that if I don't know it, I'll search it and I'll and then I'll tell it and then I'll give you the real answer. I don't like to tell you um, stuff that is not real. I mean, I'm your teacher. You come for me and you come to me uh, to learn. And if I tell you uh, something that is not real, a lie, that's not going to be good. Okay. So uh, I hope that you enjoyed the video. Let's get down to business. Today it's STEAM. 
pages 151, 152. Again, STEAM, pages 151 and 152. You have, you need to have ready your book, pencil, and highlighter because you're going to be doing STEAM notes. Pencil, book, and highlighter. Now pay attention. This is the instruction for the activity of today. I'm going to be reading with you. And I'm going to be helping you like in school to highlight the important information. So listen carefully. When I say highlight, start, highlight, start, you start highlighting. When I say highlight, stop, you stop. Okay, again, highlight, start, you start highlighting the information. I don't know, for example, I tell you, highlight, start. Uh, Paquito likes to eat tacos every day and every night. Highlight, stop. All that sentence of Paquito, you have to highlight it. Understood? Until I said stop. Good. If you're ready, then let's get down to business. Let me share my screen with you. Perfect. Seasons and stars. Read and listen to the following text. All right. Let's start. Why do you see the stars in the night sky, but not during the day? That is a question we have already worked with. That is a question that we have already um, asked during class, during these videos. And um, some of you actually answered it. Some of you said, oh, because the, the sun uh, is bigger and that's why we, we see the stars only at night. Oh, because the sun is um, it's brighter. Oh, okay. Some of you said, oh, because the sun only comes during the morning and not at night. Okay, that sounds good. Uh, we're going to learn why. But I'm going to tell you the, the answer right now also. There are three points in here. One, yes, the sun is a star. That we already know it. The sun is a star. Two, the sun is the closest star that, is, that we have, that is in our solar system. That's why it shines so bright. It is the closest to us. Three, it's because of something called rotation. The sun doesn't move. The earth moves around the sun. But also, at the same time that it's moving around the sun, the earth is moving itself on its axis. So it is rotating. So if you have the sun here and the earth is here, this part is going to be uh, affected, let's say affected by the sunlight. So this part of earth is going to be morning. When it, when it start, and this part, since it's not, um, the sun is not hitting on that part of earth, this part is going to be night. So when the sun starts rotating, the part that was night is going to be now morning, and the part that was morning is going to be now night. So the stars are always there. They don't go. The universe, the space, the stars, the planets, the galaxies, everything is there. They don't go like, oh, we have to hide because the sun is here. No. Remember, the sun is just another star in the universe. So they don't move. They stay there. The only thing that happens is since the sun is here and it's shining on Earth, you cannot see it. But on this part that is not shining, then you can see the stars. When it moves, when it rotates, then the other part is going to be night and the other part is going to be morning. And the same happens. You're going to be able to see the stars and then you're not going to be able to see the stars. But the stars are always there. It's all thanks to the rotation and to the fact that the sun is the closest star we have. Understood? Perfect. So, highlight star. Every day, 
the earth rotates one time. Highlight stop. When your side of the earth is facing away from the sun, it is night. When the sun is not hitting on, on that side, it's night. You can see the stars. When your side of the earth is facing towards the sun, when the sun is hitting that side of the earth, it is day and you don't see the stars anymore. Highlight start. The sun is a star. The stars in the night sky don't disappear. They are still there. Highlight stop. Let's continue with the reading. The earth is much closer to the sun than to the other stars. We already mentioned it. This is important. So highlight start. The earth is much closer to the sun than to the other stars. Highlight stop. This is like your experiments with a flashlight, remember? The closer the light was to the poster board, the brighter it appeared. The light from the, cl from the closer flashlight blocked out the dim light from the flashlight that was farther. The light from the sun is so bright, it covers the light from the other stars. That is extremely important, so we're going to highlight it, okay? Again, highlight start, the light from the sun is so bright, it covers the light from the other stars. Highlight stop. In the same way, stars that are brighter in the night sky are most likely closer to dimmer stars. Let's continue. Highlight start. The amount of daylight from the sun you see each day changes throughout the year. The Earth completes one revolution or circle around the sun every year. Highlight stop. Okay, the amount of daylight from the sun you see each day, it's different from season to season. Yes, it is. We don't have the same amount of sun during summer than in winter. Okay, right now, yes, the, the, the seasons of the year are all messed up. But if you ask your mom, your dad, if you have grandma or grandpa, you can ask them, ask grandma or grandpa if you have them. Ask, ask them, how was the weather when you were little? Was the weather all combined like today? That in one day you have sun, rain, cold, wind, all of them together? Then probably grandma or grandpa, or maybe mom or dad, if you ask them, they're going to tell you no. When it was spring, it was spring. That's it. When it was summer, it was raining. It was a lot of, of heat. That's it. When it was fall, a lot of wind, the, the, the leaves were falling down from the trees. It was a bit cold, that's it. And when it was winter, it was cold. Simple like that. But now, now everything is combined. So that happens, the same happens with the amount of sun that we have. Sometimes it's winter and it's extremely hot and it shouldn't be like that. But that's because we humans have changed the weather, the seasons of the year, okay? Let's continue. The Earth is tilted on its axis as it goes around the sun, discusses different seasons and changes the amount of daylight. Okay, we're gonna do something. I know it's gonna be too big, but it's extremely important. We're gonna do highlight start from the amount of daylight, the very beginning, this part, from here, to here, all this stuff, you have to highlight it, all of it. Understood? Good. Let's continue. Yeah. I don't know what happened. Oh, there we go. Give me one moment. Let me move this. Excellent. Look at the picture. 
this picture. The northern hemisphere is pointed towards the sun, northern this part. There is more daylight during the summer. The sun is hitting the northern hemisphere more directly. At the same time, the southern hemisphere is pointed away from the sun, this part. It is winter and there is less daylight. Okay, here is a lot more of daylight and here is less, okay? From here, we're not going to highlight anything. As the earth moves around the sun, seasons will change. This part, yes, highlight start. As the earth moves around the sun, seasons will change. Highlight stop. The southern hemisphere will have summer, while the northern hemisphere has winter. Highlights start places around the equator usually have warm temperatures. Highlights stop. They have about the same amount of daylight all year round. Places at the top and bottom of the Earth axis, the poles, they stay cold. The night sky looks different as the Earth revolves around the sun. The sky is different in each hemisphere. Highlights start. Some constellations can only be seen in one hemisphere or during certain months. A constellation's position in the sky can change as the Earth moves around the sun. Highlights stop. So you're going to be highlighting in from here, from some, until sun, okay, all this part. Scorpius looks like a scorpion tail. It is brightly seen in the Northern Hemisphere starting in July. It moves higher in the sky throughout July and August. After August, it is harder to see. Some constellations can be seen all year around. Orsa Minor includes the, Northern, the North Star and is seen all year round. It helps people to find the direction north when traveling, usually the, the Ursa Minor. Uh, it was used mostly for navigators, people that were in big ships in the ocean, in the sea, and they would have to look and search in the night sky to find the Ursa Minor. Doing that, they would be able to find it, look at it, and they were like, okay, north is that way because the Ursa Minor is going to, it, it has the North Star and that is always pointing like its name it says to the North, okay? So that's all. That's all we're going to highlight. That's all we're going to read. Voila. Now you have to go to optional pages, write down what we highlighted, and then you're going to choose your illustration. Could be this tree that has spring and winter. Could be the constellation of Scorpius. Could be the Milky Way. Or could be the Earth season. Or last, and I would prepare it, this one. This one is great because it includes everything, okay? Up to you, you choose what you want to uh, illustrate, how you want to illustrate it, but you have to do it, okay? So go to Global Cities, uh, sorry, go to Steam Notes, not Global Citizenship, go to Steam, optional pages, and do your notes, okay? After you do your notes, then you can come back. If you already did your notes, if you already paused the video and went to optional pages to do it, then let's go to Think Tank. The page is 180. Again, think tank, page 180. Unit review. Remember, unit reviews. I don't help you with them. I'm just going to read the instructions, the activities, but I'm not going to tell you how to do them. You are in fifth grade. 
you need to be able to understand and do work by yourself. You're just a few months to go to sixth grade and remember that in sixth grade, I'm going to give you more freedom, but also you're going to have a little bit more of pressure because you need to be responsible, okay? So I'm not going to help you. You need to pay attention to everything that we have done so you can answer this. If you have doubts, of course, you can go back to the pages that we have done to search for ways to answer this. But the idea is that you already know how to answer them because you paid attention through the videos to know the process to solve these problems. Understood? Good. Unit review. Read the following problems. Circle or write the correct answer. I can use financial knowledge to make good decisions when shopping. That is true. That's what we have been learning all this unit, how to make good decisions when shopping. Who has the better price for a bicycle? Circle your answer. Lightning bicycles, $85. Sal's bike shop, three payments of $29.99. Who has the best price? Lightning bicycles or Sal's bike shop? Circle the correct answer. Number two, finding the best deal for an item by looking at different prices is called shopping. You need to complete with a word. Finding the best deal for an item by looking at different prices is called shopping. Mm, quite easy, the answer. I can use unit prices to determine the better value. Number three, we're going to be working now with unit prices. They just told you. Daisy's Donuts sells this box of six donuts for $5.34. What is the unit price of the box of donuts? Remember how to take the unit price. The price divided by, I'm not going to tell you. You have to remember. Again, number three, Daisy's Donuts sells this box of six donuts for $5.34. What is the unit price of the box of donuts? It's quite easy if you remember. Number four. Which is the better value? Circle your answer. So soft toilet paper, 16 rolls, 10.88. Caught on toilet paper, 24 rolls, 16.80. Which one is better? So soft toilet paper of 16 rolls for 1088 or cotton toilet paper of 24 rolls for 1680. You need to work with unit price to know the correct answer. Don't be like, oh, this one. Without doing the whole process. Don't do it. You need to use unit price. Remember. The amount, the price divided by, I already told you, the, maybe you didn't pay attention. Maybe you did. Who knows? Now, the last part of the work of today, not the last part of the unit review. This is the first page. The second page, we'll do it some other time. I can use percentages, percentages to determine discounts and sale prices. Use the picture to answer questions five and six. What picture? This one. Let's look at the picture. It's, it's a shirt, a t-shirt, I think. Yes, it's a t-shirt. And it says price 18.50, 18.50, but it has 40% off. That's a lot. 30% off, it's on sale. What is the discount amount of the t-shirt? Remember how to get the discount amount. Remember that first you need to pass the percentage into, and then you need to do the process 
to get the discount amount. And then once you get the discount amount, you need to do another operation to get the sale price of the t-shirt, the last price, the price that you're going to pay to get the t-shirt. First, you get the discount amount, then that discount amount, you're gonna use it in another operation to get the sale price, the last price that you're going to pay. If you don't remember, go back to the pages, look for the information, and then do it. That's all the work of today. I'm gonna stop sharing the screen. Perfect. And let's summarize the work of today. Today, we work with STEAM pages 150 and page 152. You also watch a video for daily routine related to the topic of STEAM, that is the seasons and the stars. We read the text, I helped you reading, and I told you when I say highlight start, highlight stop, that between those two words, you need to highlight the information. Once you highlighted the information, you need to go to STEAM, optional pages, do your notes, and choose one of the illustrations that we have there so you can do it through in your notes. It is obligatory to have the illustration. Yes, it is. After that, you move to Think Tank, page 180. Mm. And we work with the first part of the unit review. In there, we aborted topics that we have already seen in the pages before. We saw uh, about the financial knowledge that you are supposed to already have to make good decisions when shopping. Then we work with other exercises that use unit price to determine the better value. And last but not least, we use percentages to determine discounts and sale prices. That's what we do. Remember, I do not help you in unit reviews. You have to do it by yourself, okay? So that's all the work of today. I hope that you're ready to work. Uh, yes, sure, you can send a message if you have a doubt, but I'm not gonna give you the answer. I'm gonna tell you, yes, you should check this, you should check that, that's it, okay? So send your work, I'll be waiting for it. That's all for today. See you tomorrow that it's Friday and love you all. Okay, take care. Peace out. Teacher Roy goes. Bye-bye.